Hello everyone, welcome to Side Process Technologies. In today's video, we're gonna discuss about how to manage the bank reconciliation in Oro 19 accounting module. So let's dive into the accounting module and first let's move on to the reconciliation of a bill. To manage with it, let's first create a bill where you can just move on to new button to create the one and fill out the details of the vendor. I'll be setting the vendor as John over here. You can click on add line to add the label. So here I would like to add the laptop over here with the one quantity and you can also set the price. So let me set the price as 1000 and once it's been set, you can save it and let me click on confirm. And afterwards, we just need to make the payment, right? So we can create the payment and you can see that it's currently in in payment state. Now, let me choose the vendable reference number over here. Once it's been set, you can move on to the dashboard because after reconciliation only, the payment will be moving to the bank. Now, we need to create a statement against the payment. Choose the transaction, click on new, where you have to fill the label. The label must be given as the reference number of the bill and here you can choose the partner. And the partner is John and we know we are just dealing with the bill. So in case of bill, we know the amount will be moving out of the bank. So um, what we have to do is we just need to provide a negative amount over here. Okay, so I'll be setting it as um, minus 2000 over here and let me click on add and close. So after reconciliation, the payment will be moving to the bank and you can see the bill over here and you can see that currently it's paid. Now let's see how can we do the reconciliation for an invoice. So let me move on to the invoices and here let me choose the customer. I would like to con consider the customer over here as Ayusha and I will be choosing uh, the product over here as laptop and let me set the amount over here as 1500. Now applying the tax here you can see that the amount has just been turned as 1590. Afterwards you can confirm the invoices and later on you can just request for the payment and click on create payment and choose the reference number which means you need to copy the customer invoice number once it's been set over here you can move on to the dashboard and choose transaction to create the statement against the payment and in this case we have to write the label and you can provide the invoice reference number over here and choose the partner so here you would be able to see that the partner over here and we know the amount is 1590 and let's set that and click on add and close so here you can see that the reconciliation has been 10 and if you want to see um the invoice you can see that the amount is will be i mean in, will be in the paid state so that's how we manage with the reconciliation in odoo 19 accounting module that's all for today if you find this video informative please do like share and subscribe our channel if you want odoo customization odoo implementation and odoo tutorial videos feel free to contact the process and thank you for watching the video